Hey everybody, Nabil here. I'm gonna take you through a quick five minute, four minute mobility routine focusing on the upper body, the lower body, and the core around our mid back and our spine, okay? So we'll start with the upper body. You can go ahead and meet me in a prone face down position. I want you to extend your right arm out to your side, nice and straight on the ground. Left hand will be on the floor right next to your left shoulder. You're going to bend the left leg, and all we're going to do is rotate to the right, on to the right arm as far as you need to feel a good stretch in the chest and the shoulder, and then we'll come back to the middle. We're going to go five times on this right side here. That was two. Get a big rotation, going as far as you need to feel a good stretch. Slight pause, that's three. Uh, this is four. Let's go one more. And five. Now we'll do the other side. Left hand will go out. Right hand will come in. Right leg will bend and we'll rotate to the left. Same exact thing. Other side. Some people also call this a scorpion pose. Alright, we're gonna go five reps here. This is three. Again, a big rotation. Nice stretch in that pec. The delt, the front of the shoulder, and the bicep. That's four. Let's go one more. <coughs> That's five. Nice, guys. All right, let's go on to the lower body real quick. I want you to meet me in a quadruped position. All fours here, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. I want you to extend your right leg out to your side, nice and straight. Right, we're going to focus on the hamstrings and the adductors, right? The muscles on the inside of the thigh. From here, all I want you to do is sit your hips back as far as you can go. Send, spend a second there and then shift the weight forward, shoulders back over the hands. All right, we're gonna shift back and forth here, keeping that right leg nice and straight for 10 reps. That's three. Good. That's four, really sit those hips back. That's five. There we go. Make sure those shoulders come all the way back forward over the wrist. Six, go a few more. Seven, good guys, set those hips back. Eight, keep that right leg nice and straight, lock that knee out. Nine, let's go one more here. And 10, nine, so we'll just flip it around so we can do the other side. Back to that quadruped position, hand beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips, extend that left leg out to the side now. Same thing, let's set those hips back. Pause there for a slight second. You don't need to pause too long. Again, just make sure that left leg is nice and straight through that knee, fully extended. Send those hips back as far as you can. We're going 10 total, this is four. Good. Five, just a slight pause and you come back forward. Six. Seven. There we go. Eight. Two more. Last one right here. Set those hips back. There we go. All right, that's the lower body. Let's focus on the spine now. We're going to do an open book. So I want you to meet me lying on the left side. All right, lying down on your left side. Our knees and hips are going to be bent, so we have about 90 degrees in both of these joints. Our arms are nice and straight out ahead of us, just like this, hands starting together from here. All we're going to do is rotate through the torso, keep the knees together, rotate through the mid back. Open up the chest or the ceiling, reach back as far as you can, and then come back forward. Good. Let's do that again. We'll go five times here, taking your time. All right, I want you to go back as far as you can without those knees coming off of the ground or separating from each other. All right, so if you're gonna stop early, right here or right here, that's okay. Otherwise, if you can go all the way back to the ground, that's great. Let's go one more here for this fifth rep. Good, and we'll just flip it over to do the other side, all right? All the range of motion is coming through the middle of the torso here. So get those knees bent, hips bent, hands together, rotate, open up, reach all the way back, and then bring it forward, hands together. Good, this is two. Good, that's three. This is four. Let's go five right here. Nice guys, good job on that. Those three moves are something you can do multiple times a day, whether it's for one round like we just did, 
two, three, four, as many times as you need to, to release some good tension. I feel like your body's moving well and you're feeling good. Appreciate you guys joining me today. Have a good one.